Good afternoon, good afternoon, good afternoon, good afternoon, good afternoon. How y'all doing this afternoon? Woo, Lord. What you want me to say? What you want me to say? What you want me to say? What you want me to tell the people this afternoon? It looks like we in Isaiah again. Isaiah 63. Yeah. Woo, what happened? Oh, Lord. <laughs> Supernatural. What's this? Isaiah 65, and it looked like 13, 63, looks like 3, 4, 5, but you already know what we're going to do to survive. We're going to run that joint, you know what I'm talking about? Listen, it says, I have trodden the wine press alone and of the people there was none with me for I will tread them in my anger and trample them in my fury and their blood shall be sprinkled upon my garment Ooh, Lord cutting up listen <laughs> And I will stain all my remnant. For the day of vengeance is in my heart. Lord, handle your business. And the year of my redeemed is come. It is come, Lord. It's time for us to redeem, to restore, to rekindle. Listen. <laughs> and I looked, and there was none to help. Lord, he looked, and there was none to help. You know, this is a confirmation. Get the phones to start buzzing. Listen. And I wondered that there was none to uphold. Therefore, my own arm brought salvation unto my unto me, and my fury. It upheld me. You know, sometimes when people get mad, they they tend to project themselves off onto you. And, you know, when people are doing sneaky and deceptive things, they try to put that energy off on you and try to make it look like you did it. They try to sabotage you. You know what I'm saying? When all along, you minding your business doing what God told you to do. You know what I'm saying? Listen, I don't I don't really care for putting these out here like that. And I just said that twice. And he led me back to some more war. You know what I'm saying? Because God is angry. He angry about something. You know what I'm saying? I don't ask. I don't question him no more. You know. Because I already know that he's fighting for my good. And those that do good. Woo! Lord, I have to release on that joint. It says, <clears throat> Shoot. Therefore, thus said the Lord God, Behold, my servant shall eat. See, he wants us to be prosperous. He wants to prosper us in his ways, how he wants to do it. That's why he didn't did everything that he did done. And see, the devil try to undo what God does. That's why he angry and upset over it. Listen, when he hit me with these deals, I have to hit you with him. And that's me being obedient. Because it ain't all fluff and rainbows. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it ain't. Look, he says, but, but yay. And I, I keep laughing because... It, it is just very unnecessary. It really is. It's like just too much. I, I'm a happy person. I, I like when when God is giving me something good that I can put out and it raises somebody else up. This right here he putting somebody in check. 
And I'm not in that energy, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm feeling love, you know what I'm saying? And that's what I like, you know what I'm saying? I give love and I, I like to receive love. You know, anybody that's in that energy of wanting to cause problems or conflict or anything like that, please don't even come towards me, you know what I'm saying? Or nothing that I love, you know. Because you 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 gonna hurt somebody, and it's usually somebody that's it's like controlling and, and can't have a way. You you know what they call them a narcissist, narcissist, something like that. Just. But Jay shall be hungry. Behold, my servant shall drink. But ye shall be thirsty. You you see where he going with this? I can't make this up. He bringing this out. You know what I'm saying? How he's bringing it out. And he's using me to go through to bring it out. I was chilling. And I'm still going to be chilling. You know what I'm talking about? It says, Behold, my servants shall rejoice. Yes, Lord. But yea, shall be ashamed. That's crazy. You know what I'm saying? It don't have to be that way. We all have choices. You know what I'm saying? You try to take away somebody's free will. God is going to do what God do. That's why he gives us dominion over ourselves. You know. It says. Behold my service. Yeah, we're running that joint. Behold my service. Shall sing for joy of heart. But yea, shall cry for sorrow of heart. And shall howl for vexation of spirit. And yea, shall leave your name for a curse unto my chosen. See, those are the people who try to manipulate us and they cry out God's name in vain after he makes us wiser to the fact that they mean us no good. You know, I had to go through the same similar situation just not too long ago. I think I went through something like that early this morning, but it was a twist in that because, you know, around this time, it's been a lot of manipulation all through this year. A lot of it. People trying to manipulate situations to gain ill-gotten gains over other people. And I'm just like, I'm glad, I'm happy, I'm thankful to the Lord that he's been keeping me wise enough not to get entangled into anything like that. You know what I'm saying? Because I just came out of some craziness. And he's put me in a better 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 position with something that's good for me and good for my life. And I'm going to treasure and take care of it and nurture it. Because a blessing is to be treasured, nurtured, and, and loved and cared for. You know, this is authentic or nothing, boy. Ooh, Lord, you own one. See, and also, when he usually, he usually do this, he hits me with a bunch of messages. And it usually come unexpected. But now, I've noticed the pattern. You know what I'm saying? I've noticed the pattern. So, I don't know when they're going to come. But when they come, I'm going to hit you how they came to me. Because... Somebody else out there is going through the same thing. It really is. He said, and, and yea, 
shall leave your name for a curse unto my chosen. For the Lord God shall slay thee. I'm telling you, do right by people. Stop with the, the trauma bond and the manipulation and all that craziness. You know what I'm saying? Stop with that. It's people trying to live their life happily and peacefully. And I'm saying this out here for everybody that, that, that cut off toxic situations to where they done been hurt multiple times over and over again. I'm one of them. I'm testifying right now. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? But when he hit me and he showed me what he showed me, when he told me what he told me, I done took the steps towards that. And I'm going to keep on stepping in there. He is fighting for me. So I don't have to do a thing. But keep on doing what he want me to do. You know, this is authentic to nothing. And I can't make this joint up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, I tried to avoid it like three times, Lord. You know what I'm saying? Hey. I'm finna go find something happy to do. You understand? <laughs> Lord, later on.